Boyaka shark. Right. So it's Wednesday. I worked yesterday. Yesterday was Tuesday, for those that don't know. I worked yesterday all day, but I didn't record anything because uh, I was just too busy. It's too hot. I weren't in the mood for recording, and that's my choice. So, Wednesday. End of play yesterday, uh, I needed a plumbing part uh, to wire the fuel pump up, uh, sorry, the water pump up, and couldn't find one. Asked some people online, they sent me some links to some to buy online, but I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go somewhere tomorrow and buy one. Today I wake up, my only job today, well this morning, is to find this plumbing part that I need to just plumb stuff together for the water supply. I've driven about 30 miles around Doncaster and every single plumbing shop that you can ever imagine ever on earth ever in Doncaster doesn't have the part that I need. Why is there a recovery truck coming to recover me? Every single, every single plumbing shop doesn't have the plumbing part that I need. No, we don't stock them. No, we don't stock them. You can buy them online though. I'd have just gone online if I want to buy them online. I want to buy them from a shop. No wonder the high streets are dying because they don't stock anything. It's all online. So when you're all, all your shops are shut in, uh, in, in your city centres, that's why, because nobody has uh, anything in stock anymore. Anyway, if they stopped selling it online and had it more in shops, people would probably would buy from shops, wouldn't they? Anyway, 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 five different shops. All the plumbing shops are all sending me to each other. Have you tried Plumco? Have you tried the Plum Centre? Have you oh, go to Plumco. Oh, go to Plum Centre. In the end, I got a bit ranty, uh, and then he said, why don't you try this place? And I was like, why am I even bothering? Anyway, I did. I went. I humoured it. The place was right next to where I'm working. Literally, I can see it from here. And they've got them. They've got them in. <laughs> Not only that, I walked to the door and he said, Oh, I know who you are. I was like, really? Yeah, I'm one of your followers. It's like, oh, thank fuck for that. <laughs> said, yeah, yeah, have them. Oh, man. Oh, man. This guy. This guy. If you're watching, you've saved my fucking day today. If you have a look through my TikToks from today, how ranty I'm getting, how upset I'm getting. This guy just changed my life. It was like a guardian angel came down from the sky and, and gave me exactly what I needed. Cheaper than I expected. He can't beat people like that. Anyway, let's go build some vans, shall we? Right, so I've got a couple of things to talk about first. So, I've got my coffee. I'm going to sit you down. <sighs> Why don't you point at my face for a start? That'd be good. Right. Why is it so bloody dark? Right, I seem to have become the UK's biggest hoarder of uh, solar power generators. I don't know how, I don't know why me, but I have. So. Uh, last year, Power Oak sent me two of their units. One of them was the big thing that costs two grand, and then the smaller one that was a 700 quid or something, and then the solar panels, which were expensive as well on top of that. I ended up giving those away, and then Jackery got in touch and sent me the Explorer 500 and the Explorer 1000, uh, plus the solar panels to go with them, which is two grand worth of kit for free. I'm a massive fan of Jackery, and the main reason is, apart from I like the sort of the look of them and all that, and I like the feel of them, I like how they are. When you communicate with them online, Jackery are by far the best communicators. Like they're so nice to talk to. They just check up on you and see. You always ask you how you are and all that kind of thing, and it's just nice, right? Power Oak take two weeks to reply to an email. Not as good customer service and all that, but I'm not. This is not a video comparing the two. Anyway. Power Oak sent me this. Have you seen the size of that thing? That's their new AC 200P. 2000 watt inverter, 2000 watt hours of energy. That thing is massive. So now I've just got power units coming out my arse basically. I'm not going to do a review on it because that's not what this video is. This is a band building video. But I just thought I'd show you that, that I got sent that. Kind of bragging. Look at that. that it's an absolute animal, an absolute beast. It's just, just anyway, moving on. Uh, yesterday, 
Uh, I did some more on the electrics, although I ran out of cable. I've got some more cable is on order, but I just haven't got it yet. Um, solar is connected up, and we're at fourteen point one. That is good. Uh, I've tested the lights. The lights are working. However, the remote control stopped working, so I've ordered a new remote control. That should be on its way soon. I took the the hob out because it was dented. It's now been sent back. The sink is currently out because I'm doing the plumbing part, uh, plumbing bit. The cable is run for the water pump. Whoop, where are you? The cable has been run for the water pump. That's connected up to the fuse board uh, and to the switch panel. And I'm gonna plumb that in today. I also started drilling the hole for the waste pipe. <laughs> that, that's hard work. I've, not, I've still not done it. Uh, I've started drilling it from the inside and the outside and it's still not through it's a big thick old thing so I'm gonna crack on with that a bit more a bit later I've now got a deadline to finish this which is the end of next week so I've got after today six days to get it to a to a livable state I suppose or, or a usable state uh, I can always come back and do extra jobs uh, snagging bits and stuff later but we're getting there now we're now way past the halfway mark we're on the downhill to finish It is seriously mega hot. I've just been to B&Q for some more pipe work and some PTFE tape. And now I'm going to sort the plumbing. Finally, get the plumbing sorted, hopefully today. The drainage hole is causing me some problems because the floor is thicker than me. I'm not going to lie. Today was probably the least productive day I've had. It's just been too fucking hot. Look how many drill bits I've killed. And ow, that hurt my foot. But that fucking drill is dead. Absolutely brown bread. Uh, but I have built a wardrobe, or well, start to build a wardrobe in this corner. Um, and the plumbing and the tap and everything works now. The cable still hasn't arrived for the electrics, which is what I need, uh, or I have needed to finish. It all works, I just need to extend some cables because uh, nothing's sat right. Still not drilled that fucking hole in the floor. The floor is aluminium and it's about an inch thick. Crazy, that's why all those drill bits are dead, that's why my drill is dead. I'm gonna go fucking buy a proper drill tomorrow. Uh, and a proper old cutter. Well that was a proper old cutter, but I didn't I, I underestimated the depth, uh, the thickness of the uh, hole. Uh, the thickness of the floor. So anyway, it's like 8 30 pm. I've had enough. <sighs> Job's fucked. Morning. About to, buy, about to buy a new drill. Not ideal. All for a drainage hole that I didn't even fucking need to drill, probably. So, that sucks for me. Right, so it's Friday. Uh, I mean, I'm not quite finished for the day yet, but I do have a lot of tidying to do today because I need to get all my stuff out of here ready for the customer painting it at the weekend. But, today I have put the hinges on the uh, cupboard doors I just need to get some door handles uh, but they are done the plumbing is now done which has cost me so much fucking money to do it's unreal <laughs> uh, and then the wardrobe uh, I've just run out of wood for the doors so I'm going to sort that out on Monday uh, it shouldn't take too long to do but they've got a top part wardrobe to hang clothes on a hanger there and then a bottom part for more storage underneath Ugh. I just need to do a bit of fettling around with electrics today uh, because I bodged it a little bit because I didn't have enough cable so we had to order some cable um, so I bodged it in the meantime so I need to run the extended cables now which has just arrived <sighs> jobs of fish it's coming on uh, it looks messy now but once I clear all my crap out of it and the customer's been at the weekend and cleared all the scrap wood out we might be ready for flooring and then it's my job really done because it's then down to furnishings which the customer is obviously going to do themselves so yeah it doesn't look that good right now but when they've added their touches it'll look brilliant I'm, I have got faith in that it's not Friday at all it's Thursday so I don't have to pack up everything today e by gum right so sorry for my mistake it's Thursday so I've still got another day's work to go after this 
state of play I've sorted the electrics out I just needed to run some new battery cable and stuff and um, as a more permanent fixture and I'm waiting on a remote control sensor because that's broke for the lights as well um, but I've done the bottom cupboard doors there's a little cupboardy bit there uh, I'm just waiting on some of the thin strip stuff so that I can uh, do a wardrobe door as well but that is a huge amount of storage in there it's like a full size wardrobe in a van again once all my tools are out and that it's going to look a thousand times better so I'm going to try and get it to a decent place tomorrow so that it looks like it's almost complete right it's Friday end of week 4 the place is a shit tip and I've got a special surprise for you ladies who are watching I've got my legs out look at them bobby dadlers look at them perfect diameter um, good for running and jumping over stuff look at them I know I know anyway I'm just gonna do some a lot of tidying today and a lot of finishing touches I've not got any big jobs particularly to do um, I've got a fucking diesel heat to fit what, 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 what am I kidding I've got a diesel heat to fit I don't think I'm gonna do that today but yeah uh, I'll just crack on and let you let you come along for the journey and let you see what's going on but uh, the customers coming over with some bits that have been ordered I've got to fit the remote for the lights that suddenly stopped working um, and they're bringing some wood over so I can finish that wardrobe door that's going on here uh, but everything else is looking tip top it's about to be a very dirty day today uh, everything's covered in dust and the camera is covered in dust but uh, I've started to get my shit out of here um, uh, so the beds are clear now uh, this ply is unbelievably warped so I'm going to get another piece on Monday uh, to do those doors it's a five minute five hour job maybe five minutes should be five minutes five minutes for a normal person five hours for me I put this uh, window ledge thing here to armrest thing just to finish that off a little bit um, I was mainly sweeping and tidying and sanding actually because they're gonna be doing some painting I've had a lot of sanding to do I uh, boarded that little bit there it was black carpet before but I just wanted to tie it all in when they paint it it will look better off uh, I took this seat out which was a fucking nightmare from this spot but it meant I could finish off that bit uh, and hide some cabling and stuff uh, I took the diesel heater thing off hoping to see a pipe there but there's no pipe there so I'm wondering if the heat travels along this whole side which ain't fucking ideal is it especially when I just built all that on this side it might come out of these holes here but the diesel heat is coming out anyway because I'm replacing it with a giant easy one yeah, because it's not working very well it's just blowing cold air uh, but also it runs off the starter battery which is no bloody good so Monday potentially if the, if the rain stops will be a day for chucking a diesel heater out chucking a new diesel heater in uh, and have it so it comes out in a better area so it doesn't travel all the way down the side I'm convinced that's what it does now in fact that's what it does I've said it now that's what it does uh, it's not ideal obviously given the change uh, to the vehicle changes to the vehicle uh, but that is it for Friday I've just got to pack shit up now get this stuff out and then that's it, I'll have my weekend. My weekend is an action packed weekend, a really busy, 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 busy weekend. Just realised I don't work Mondays, so I'll be back on Tuesday. Hope you enjoyed this little vlog. Doesn't appear like a lot's been done this week. <laughs> Just trust, trust, trust my methods. Four days left. See you soon. Bye.